won't get all the way in the weeds, but um, he's come to me a few times uh, since I got the job. And um, through a lot of conversation, uh, not only with him, but other teammates, uh, prior to making a decision to, to let him walk on, um, got confirmation who he was as a young man, um, uh, openly uh, just was honest, felt like maybe he made some mistakes um, with how he um, uh, responded uh, to some adversity and maybe some decisions that he made. And, um, and through conversation with him uh, and, again, with uh, teammates, felt like he deserved some grace. We all deserve some grace. So um, he's walked on, and he's been good uh, as far as high effort and tough and uh, allows you to coach and things of that nature. He seems like he'd be a real asset to the secondary. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's a long, long way to go. Be, I'm just not trying to be evasive, but they, we got a long way to go. He's only been out for a couple practices, and really, everybody's kind of on their journey. To me, you know, in spring ball, ninth practice, there's a lot you can say about d different guys here and there, but his litmus test isn't really. Um, it's not comparable because he just got here, been here for a couple of days and uh, learning a new position, new language. There's barriers for everybody, but uh, he didn't have the, um, uh, he didn't have uh, the same opportunity like everybody else did prior to joining. He just joined. So everybody else has been here through mat drills and some meetings and things of that nature. So he's, he's been a little bit behind from that standpoint, but he's aggressive and he's physical. Uh, and he's got, you know, he's got a, a good attitude so far. Uh, hopefully he can continue to, to, to come on and, and bridge that gap from a, a knowledge standpoint and technique and fundamentals. Yeah, I mean, we're, everything we're doing is still work in progress and trying to figure out uh, what the personnel is, what our strengths are, um, what we can do, what we can't do. We certainly know what we'd like to do. You want as much versatility there as you can. Um, you know, still looking to see if Roy Williams is out there. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Him, Tony Jefferson, and uh, um, Nick and Keenan and uh, can't remember who else would there be. There's been a Clint Ingram, all them guys. Uh, no, I'm the same guys. I mean, we're always looking for as much versatility as you can. You now, where you don't have to work, worry about you know your sub packages and things. That is your sub package. And uh, so whether it's coverage or playing in space or, or fitting in the run game, people that can do all those things. So we're getting a lot of people that uh, an opportunity to look at it. And um, my expectation is where we're at right now, we'll be on a different planet start, starting in fall camp. And I just expect a lot of growth to happen. And um, uh, so I'm looking for the same stuff as always. That guy can go be a post player, can play a half. He can play down in the B gap. Uh, he can set the edge on the perimeter screens. He can cover wheel routes. Um, you know, he can spy the quarterback. He can do a lot. You know, that's... Uh, what we're looking from that position. So if you can't lose somebody like that with his experience. Would he fit in there? TD? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, he's played there. So he's done some of that too. We're moving him around a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, he's had, a, he's had experience. And a lot of it's having – got to have moxie, got to have instincts. Um, we have a coach on staff, Ryan Carter, that at Clemson he played there uh, multiple years. But he also played corner. And um, played some safety, but Ryan, you know, I'm not sure. Let me see, he's about like this, so what, um, however tall that is. Uh, he's just itty bit, but he played like he's 6'2". And that uh, cool thing on looking at all the install clips, you, this guy's playing against monsters, whether it's Ohio State or it's, it's Notre Dame or it's uh, Alabama. You're seeing him show up all over this tape. But he's, um, you know, he's got a good skill, but he's big, plays physical. I don't care what they look like, really. I just look... You know, I'm focused on how they play and what kind of skill set that they have. So we'll continue to do, you know, things that we've done in the past and looking for the same type of things, you know, I'm saying, you know, uh, from that position. I'm not, but we also always try to protect them based on, okay, now where we at here it is game week. All right, here's their strengths. Let's play to their strengths. Let's protect their weaknesses. Let's not ask them to do things that they can't do just because that's what we do. That's not how it works to me. Uh, it's not, you know, our job is to make sure that we, uh, we, we take advantage of the things that they do well and protect them. On the offensive line, yeah, I, I've been really pleased. Um, got a few guys banged up, you know, here and there. Um, 
Uh, but I really like that group. Uh, Coach Beanbo does a, a, a fantastic job. And um, uh, whether it's uh, systematically or there's more certainty, uh, or these guys are just hungry, um, not really having studied what we did a year ago, these guys um, are playing with really good cohesion, um, really good chemistry, playing with a tough-mindedness. Now they know they know what they're doing. Um, they move the line of scrimmage uh, a lot more than than my liking. I'm supposed to like it all, uh, but um, I'm not going to lie. When I see, I can I can see quickly. Uh, you know, if we're doing things right on the defensive side of the ball, or if they're doing things right on the offensive side of the ball, um, quickly when we start practice. So. Uh, they've been really physical. I'm very impressed with um, how we attacked uh, winter conditioning and uh, the ability there to um, endure and uh, how we run and just the buy-in. That's been a that group's probably had as much improvement as anybody um, from the time we started in January to where we're at right now. And uh, again, we've had some guys. We had a concussion. We had a sprained ankle. We had a little, little groin. And so, but when they when they've all been together, they've been uh, it's been a really good, strong group, um, a point of strength for us. Guys that have been consistent for us. I mean, I'd start with uh, Woody Washington. Uh, you know, I think he's been one of the most consistent guys on our at all three levels. Um, I, I, I like our um, I like our s skill in the secondary. We're still learning language, and some alignments, and um, some of the fundamental things that we want them to do. Uh, communication things. We're trying to create as much stress as we can, uh, but I really like that secondary group led by by Woody. Woody's been our most consistent guy. That's probably not surprising. Um, he's healthy, and um, I, I love the attitude of the group. They're very hungry, uh, very driven. Got some good young players, but between Billy and Key and uh, you know Robert Spears and uh, Justin Broyles, um, we're, we're a little bit we're banged up at one of the corners. Um, but I like our, our guys there as well, from Kanai and Woody and um, uh, um, help me out here, DJ Graham um, and uh, I like you know Josh Eaton and uh, we've been banged up. Trey Morrison been a little bit banged up. He was back out there today. He's playing inside and outside um, as well. Uh, Kendall Daniels, uh, you know. That group, I, I like that group. We'll add um, uh, C.J. Colden here uh, shortly as well. I feel like I'm missing somebody there. Certainly some of the freshmen that are coming in. But that's a really good, hungry group. The backers have been same thing. I mean, our buy-in has been just outstanding. Not like good. Like they're up here all the time. Uh, when I was when I was around the offices during the bowl prep for the Oregon game, I, it was like a ghost town. Every day, and I was a little worried, just uh, trying to observe. Like, where's everybody at? There's no life, and uh, and so I worried about you know guys that you know just what the investment was, watching tape, and just trying to be um, uh, detailed and excellent at their at their positions. But um, boy, it was the script's been flipped um, from my initial impression, and uh, and it, they've been wonderful as far as the buy-in, but. And we got we got you know length and speed at defensive end, so again whether it's um, you know Grimes and Downs or Jonah and uh, Marcus and and then inside you know I'm uh, I'm, I'm looking for um, our ability to execute right now and um, I think the tackles every, I don't think anybody has stood out from other guys necessarily. Um, they've been really a consistent group for us uh, inside. Um, uh, Jordan Kelly has probably had, he might have had so far through nine, maybe he's probably the, the highest graded. And uh, Jeffrey's done a good job. Red has flashed, flashed, Co has flashed, um, Ellison has flashed. And, um, and then again at backer, I really I like the backer group. Um, we're not real deep there, um, but I, I like our leadership and our buy in there. Uh, Deshaun was banged up for a couple of days, but he's he's got a good ceiling uh, to him. And uh, Shane has really come on and had a really good uh, fall camp or uh, spring camp, rather. Um, Stutzman, um, you know, so far he might have he, he might have had the he he may he might be the guy that was just a little bit ahead of everybody else making play sideline to sideline. 
and uh, TD has been a rock for us. Um, uh, David has has really done a great job. He plays with a lot of energies, physical, and learning how to play quick and efficient in space, and he's done a good job of getting better that way. And then young guys are fig- trying to figure it out. Like it's hard. You think it's already hard, first year uh, or first semester on campus, and then you you throw in learning the new language, and then you throw on top of that, you know, a very high paced practice and how we practice. Try to be very efficient. So, but they're all doing a great job. They're uh, when they know what they're doing, they're runners, they're hitters, they're physical, uh, they're good teammates. Uh, they've done a, a real nice job. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.